O'Fallon's all new Parks and Recreation Facility in Civic Park is set to open soon, but you can already reserve space for your next event. Named for O'Fallon's founding resident, Nicholas Kreckel, the Kreckel Civic Center is not only beautifully designed, it's also an ideal space for a wide variety of uses. This multi-purpose facility can be adapted for classroom space, recreational programs, group meetings, and special events. With rental options throughout the week, including whole day rentals on weekends, this center is the perfect home for your banquet, wedding reception, or intimate gathering. We're excited to be able to offer this new facility to our residents. And you can learn more about the Kreckle Civic Center's many amenities and rental options in your Autumn City newsletter or online at the Parks and Recreation website. Here's a quick update on two infrastructure improvement projects affecting the north end of O'Fallon. The Wabash Avenue reconstruction project is ongoing, with crews looking to complete phase one within the next two weeks. They'll be installing a water main replacement on the intersection of Wabash and Edlin, and then wrapping up this portion of the project. Please continue to follow detour signs until they can get this road reopened. The Forest Park subdivision water main replacement project is well underway, and crews are working on St. Margaret Lane, Eggering Drive, St. Matthew Avenue, St. Joseph Avenue, and Ronnie Drive. Once they complete this mile of intersections, they'll move on to phase two. For more information about all of the projects going on in our city, head online to www.ofallon.mo.us slash projects. O'Fallon students are taking part in an event that aims to inspire tomorrow's manufacturers today. Middle school and high school students throughout O'Fallon will be heading to St. Charles Community College on October 2nd to attend Manufacturing Day, an event that connects students with manufacturers from throughout St. Charles County. At Manufacturing Day, students can explore potential careers, see live demonstrations, participate in manufacturing-themed games, and even tour an active manufacturing facility. If you'd like your student group to participate, please note that student tour reservations must be made in advance. For more information, visit growmanufacturing.org. With the arrival of fall comes an O'Fallon tradition. That's right, hayrides are back in Ford Zumwalt Park starting October 3rd, and you can make a reservation now to save your spot on one of our old-fashioned tractor-pulled hayrides. Check out your Autumn Parks and Rec Guide for more information. That's all for this episode of the O'Fallon Update. Join us for more stories on Friday, September 28th.